Hi guys, this is Giovanna from Wait30Days.com and I'm here to show you guys this really simple trick to do profitable keyword research. And I actually saw this um, method released as a WSO a couple of months ago and I was thinking when I was actually watching through it, I was like, geez, I saw this released three, like three years ago. I can't remember the exact, um, the, or well, not three, two, maybe two, oh, whatever. <laughs> um, I can't remember exactly where I found it, but I've been using it successfully since then. And I've showed it to a couple of my coaching students and they were like, yeah, this is fantastic. So I actually thought everybody knew this, but I'm going to show you guys here quickly how to do it. Now, I found a new CPA offer that I'm interested in pursuing. It's a South African CPA and um, local CPA for South Africa is extremely good to target simply because there's not a lot of affiliate marketers in South Africa. And it's for a rental car company. So I'm going to put, um, do you want to change? Car Rentals Cape Town 357 subs. And obviously, guys, if you want more keywords, you should sign in. I'm just being lazy. <laughs> okay, and this is what I always do because I like to find low search volume keywords. Mm. There you go. Let's find rental agencies. No, cheap car hire in Durban. All you do is you will go and search for it in Google like that. And then you're going to do it like this. Put an in anchor colon and your keywords in quotes. And there we go. So nobody's actually targeting this keyword. Nobody has anchor text for this keyword. You can see cheapest car hire in Durban. Nothing. Nothing. There's a lot of ads. And look, the competition says it's full. And there's a thousand. And nobody is targeting this in this anchor text. That means that nobody is building links for this actual keyword which is fantastic, you know what I'm saying? You can really um, target this and do well because if nobody's targeting these keywords, then you could build up a page surrounding this keyword or a number of keywords and actually rank highly with proper on-page SEO and a little bit of backlinking. Obviously, you know, it depends per... Um, Per niche but that's exactly how it happens and there you go so let's try a few more I want to find one okay there we go so now what I want to do is as well, obviously if nobody's building links for their keyword that's fantastic um, but what if people are building links so now what you do is you will open this page and you'll open that page and you'll want to see, okay, who um, who's on the top page that is building keywords. And generally you'll find with some keywords, um, about five of the people are building links for that keyword and the other five on. So if you see here that there are people who are building for these links that are not rank chair this means that you've got a spot obviously you will also find let's say um, let's do something more obvious like money money see so you'll know that you won't be able to take this off unclaimed money there we go money so automatically you can see that this is not a good keyword to go for there we go guys and now all you need to do is just compare it and if you see an open space here with good on-site SEO and good off-site SEO 
there's no way that you won't be able to rank for these keywords. And this is a quick trick, and anybody can do it. Okay, guys, this is Jabana from Wait30Days.com, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.